Imagine waking up one morning, turning on your Mac, and the first thing you notice is that your display feels ancient. It stutters, it's stuck at 60 hertz, and you can clearly see that the tech behind it has barely changed in a decade. Now imagine Apple suddenly dropping a monitor so advanced, so polished, and so futuristic that it instantly makes every other display feel outdated. Well, that moment is getting closer. And the rumors surrounding the Apple Studio Display 2 are louder than ever. Today, I'm going to tell you everything that's brewing behind the scenes. Because Apple isn't just upgrading this monitor, they are completely reinventing it. And if these leaks are real, the Studio Display 2 might be one of the biggest surprises of 2026. Before we talk about the new stuff, we need to face an uncomfortable truth. The current Studio Display, released in 2022, looks modern but inside, it's anything but modern. Apple has been quietly using the exact same 27-inch panel from the 2014 iMac. Yes, the same one from the old unibody design. Same brightness, same refresh rate, same limitations. You're basically staring at technology that's been recycled for years. Sure, Apple wrapped it in a beautiful aluminum shell. They added an A13 chip, a camera, nice speakers, and Thunderbolt ports. But the panel itself remained stuck in time. And that's why users kept asking the same question over and over. When will Apple give us a real upgrade? And according to leaks, the answer is 2026. Insiders say Apple is preparing the Studio Display 2 for a launch window between March and May 2026, with WWDC 2026 as the backup date. This timing makes perfect sense. By then, the current display will be four years old. Apple does not refresh monitors often, but four years is long enough for a meaningful redesign, especially when professional workflows demand more. Now let's get into the juicy part, the actual upgrades. The biggest change, by far, is the shift to mini-LED technology. This is the same high-end display tech found in the MacBook Pro lineup. It delivers deeper blacks, brighter highlights, far better contrast, and stunning color accuracy. So, basically, the moment you turn on the Studio Display 2, you're going to see a massive difference. But here comes the part everyone has been begging for. Higher refresh rate. Yes, promotion is coming. Leaks confirm Apple is testing two versions. A 90Hz panel and a full 120Hz panel. If Apple chooses 120Hz, Mac OS will feel smoother than ever. Scrolling will feel natural. Motion will feel lifelike. Everything would feel faster, even though the machine isn't actually running faster. That's the magic of high refresh rate. And Apple knows exactly how powerful that experience is. There's also a chance the Studio Display 2 will have adaptive refresh rate, shifting between low and high hertz automatically to save power and maximize smoothness. Apple hasn't confirmed this feature yet, but considering their track record with promotion on iPhone and iPad, it's extremely likely. And brightness? Let's just say the old 600 nit limit isn't going to cut it anymore. The new display is rumored to hit 1000 to 1200 nits, making it much easier to use in bright rooms or near windows. Combine that with mini LED and suddenly the display becomes a true professional quality panel. Apple is also expected to keep the nano texture option for people who want reduced reflections. Now here's something interesting. Apple is not planning to change the size. The new model will remain 27 inches. Why? Because this size is a sweet spot for workspaces. It fits on almost every desk, works well with macOS scaling, and feels comfortable for both everyday users and professionals. But everything behind the display? That's getting a serious upgrade. The Thunderbolt ports will finally move to Thunderbolt 5. This means higher bandwidth, smoother workflows with multiple displays, and stronger support for the next generation of Macs. If you're planning to buy a new Mac Studio or Mac Pro in the future, Thunderbolt 5 will be extremely important. Inside the display, Apple is also updating the chip. The A13 from the first Studio display feels ancient now. The new model is rumored to use either an A18 or A19 chip. Yes the same chips powering Apple's latest iPhones. This will help with camera processing, center stage, noise reduction, and all the behind-the-scenes AI-driven features. 
And speaking of the camera, you can expect a big upgrade, the Re as well. The current 12MP camera is good, but not impressive. Apple may switch to an 18MP sensor, similar to what they put in newer iPhones. This means clearer video calls, sharper edges, better color accuracy, and far more realistic skin tones. Finally, your video meetings will actually look clean. Now the big question, the one everyone keeps asking, how much will it cost? The current studio display starts at $1,599, and Nanotexture bumps it up by about $300. With mini-LED, promotion, a better camera, a stronger chip, and Thunderbolt 5, you'd expect a massive price jump. But surprisingly, leaks say Apple is trying to keep the price almost the same. At worst, it may increase by $100. Apple seems to understand this display needs to stay premium but reachable. And here's my honest opinion. If Apple adds all these upgrades, the Studio Display 2 will finally become a true next-generation Apple monitor, something worthy of the Apple ecosystem. It will feel modern, sharp, smooth, and powerful. And after years of waiting, Mac users will finally get a display that actually matches the capabilities of their Macs. This is the display Apple should have released in 2022. But releasing it in 2026, with mini-LED, promotion, higher brightness, Thunderbolt 5, a better camera, and a more powerful chip, might actually make the delay worth it. And if Apple really nails all these upgrades, this display could easily become the next must-have product for creators, editors, designers, and anyone who wants the absolute best viewing experience on macOS. If you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon.